this uh, option in the discovery menu is clearly supposed to be Mario Odyssey because ukulele is not a captivating globetrotting adventure. As good as it is, it's, it's not a game about caps or about traveling the world. And I think that's funny. Anyway, uh, what we're actually here for is to play some Mario 3. Uh, this is the uh, Nintendo Switch Online NES feature. Basically, it's it's the virtual console, sort of. Um, you get a subscription for the Nintendo Switch Online. It lets you play a bunch of NES games. But there's some problems, and we're going to have a look at that now. So basically, yeah, you can play Mario 3 here. Uh, there's a couple of settings, but there aren't enough. Uh, I'll just start the game up so you can get a bit of an idea of what the problem is. If you start the game, you can't really see what I'm doing, but... Uh, okay, so you can use the left analog, or you can use the D-pad, so that's fine. The problem is, I just press the A button. So the A button is the A button on the NES, but a Joy-Con is arranged like a Super Nintendo controller, which means you have the B button on the bottom, and the Y button on the left side. And if you've ever played Super Mario World, you know that the B button is jump and the Y button is run, but in this game, B button is run and A button is jump, and X and Y do absolutely nothing. Oh no wait, they do something. Hang on. Okay, X is also Y for some reason, but Y doesn't do anything. Okay, well that's that's still not great. Um, there's no remappable controls at all, uh, which is terrible. Uh, the only options you have, uh, I believe you can actually buy NES controllers to use with the Switch, but I'm not going to because I can just play this on an emulator that lets me map the buttons and then I can play them correctly, or I can play the All-Stars version which has better visuals and doesn't have those weird bugs on the side there with the um, name table remapping causing everything to have strange colours as you scroll to the right. Um, <sighs> but yeah, um, so yeah, the fundamental problem is that you can't remap the controls and there's no good reason for this. You should be able to remember controls. Uh, the only option you get, if you come back to game selection here, is you can change the screen appearance, basically. You can make it, uh, you can have a 4 by 3 like, display, or you can have pixel perfect, which is what I've got enabled, because obviously you want it pixel perfect. You also have this CRT filter to make it look like you're playing on a CRT, even though you're not. Those are the only options you get. Uh, there's, there's nothing for, like, um, what am I trying to say? There aren't any other filters, like, you can't have, um, bilinear or HQ2X, whatever the thing, lots of things that, like, emulators have that let you scale old games to different resolutions and have them look great. Uh, you don't have any, like, audio settings whatsoever. You don't have any control configuration, which is an enormous problem because the default controls suck. Um... And, yeah, it's, it's just a very flawed system. Um, I, I guess the main draw here is the idea that you can play a multiplayer game online, but you can do that with emulators. There's this, there's netplay features in, like, a bunch of emulators that you could use instead, and they still have remappable controls and all these different options and stuff. Uh, yeah, um, there's a good selection of games here, so if you want to play NES games with the buttons in the wrong places on a Switch, then this is a good way to do it. I mean, you can play as Dr. Mario, uh, there's a special edition of Zelda. I don't understand these. These are weird. Let me just demonstrate what these are. Uh, so if you play Zelda normally, uh, you know, you push the start button, it wants you to put your name in. Uh, you have to put your name in, actually. Uh, uh, that's my name. I'm pretty sure that's my name. God, these controls are weird. Uh, register. There we go. So you start the game normally. Uh, you've got a link here. You go get your sword. It's the, it's the normal Zelda 1, like, like you would have if you actually played it on a real NES. Uh, except that the buttons are in the wrong places. So yeah, normal game. Um, but... If we go back to game selection here, this special edition one, you can see that you start with a bunch of items 
and all the money and lots of keys and, and bombs and heart containers and I think you have some sort of special armor because you're a different color, I'm not sure. I, I'm not that good at Zelda 1, I've never actually managed to get the special armor. Um, but yeah, you can see it's the same game except it has like a save state built in that just gives you a bunch of stuff out of the box. And I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand why you'd want to play the game like that. Uh, Metroid does the same thing. If you look at Metroid here, this is the regular game. You can go start. Uh, Samus arrives. This is the regular game. This is exactly what it would be like on an NES. You can go get the Morph Ball if you want. Well, you need the Morph Ball. It's like, it's, it's mandatory. There we go, and you can, then you can, you know, roll through here with your Morph Ball, and you can go do some other stuff, just like the normal game, but then there's a special version here. When you launch the special version, you start with six extra estrogen tanks, and the Varia suit, and all sorts of other power-ups and stuff. Lots of missiles. I think you probably have Ice Beam. It's kind of hard to tell. We've got bombs as well. Yeah, you, you've got basically everything you're supposed to have in this game, and, and you're placed right near the end. Look, here's Ridley. That's Ridley, right? Pretty sure that's Ridley. Yeah, I have Ice Beam. You can see I'm freezing the little projectiles. So, yeah, um, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, how do you shoot missiles in this game? Oh, like that. There we go. So, yeah, um, I don't understand why you'd want a save state to be a special edition of the game. Um... And they do that with lots of games. You can see there's Ghosts and Goblins, there's Ninja Gaiden. Uh, there's another special version of Metroid. Let's look at this one. What's different here? Okay, so this one is a safe state that lets you skip fighting the bosses by the looks of things. Because it puts you here at the beginning of the game. Yeah, the bosses have already been fought. So you just shoot these and that lets you go fight Mother Brain. So you skip the mini bosses and also getting all the upgrades and stuff. Why? why? Why would you want to do that? <sighs> There's also special Kirby's Adventure here. I'm guessing this takes you right to the end of the game as well. Yep, yeah, look, 100% perfect. <sighs> why? This just does, this doesn't doesn't make sense. <sighs> There's a special version of Kid Icarus. If you wanted to skip to the end of that game as well, and look, there's Zelda 2, also with a special edition that probably just gives you everything. Yep, look, Magic 8, Life 8, I got all the spells, it's the end of the game. It just, it, does, the, it doesn't make sense to fill up your catalogue with versions of the game that just have a completed save state in there. Just provide the games, like, like the normal versions of the games, You've already got save states, you don't actually need to provide an existing save state, you can just... Oh, hang on, there's descriptions, maybe it tells you why... Okay, it doesn't say why, it just, it just says you get to beat Ridley if you play this version for some reason. I, I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't explain why you would want to play the game in that way instead of just playing it normally. Mm, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, the, there are problems with the system. The main problem is really the fact that you can't remap the controls to put jump on B and run on Y, which is the way it obviously should be with this kind of controller, because that's the way it worked in Super Mario World, because when they made Super Mario World, they knew what they were doing, and now they don't. Um, so that's really sad. Um, the weirder special versions of the game are just friggin' weird as well. I don't know why they exist. <sighs> like, couldn't it just, you know, it could just be like, you know, you open the game and then you go into the... It, they could just give you save states here that have the game already completed if they wanted you to do that, rather than give you a separate game, which is the game with the save state in it. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> anyway, um, I think I've, I've ranted enough about this. It's not that much to say, really, so this is going to be a pretty short video, but, yeah, you know, I just, I just 
you know, if I want to play some classic Mario, play some Mario 3, or play some Zelda, or, uh, I don't know, Warrior's Woods, that's here, there's Warrior's Woods, I, I would like to be able to use the controls in the way that would make more sense to me, which would be having the Y button act as the NES B button, and the B button act as the NES A button, because that's the correct arrangement. Uh, I've, maybe they're trying to encourage you to buy the separate, like, NES controller Joy-Con things you can get by making the controls suck so badly, but if that's what they're doing, like, I'm not gonna get them. Like, that's just gross. <laughs> um, anyway, that's me ranted about Nintendo Switch Online, NES mode, whatever. So, I hope this was worth watching. It probably wasn't. Honestly, I mostly wanted to point out that ukulele has the wrong description, and then I just thought I'd just throw something else on the end to make a real video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, anyway. That's all i got to say, I guess. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, there's some very good games in here. There was some really nice stuff on the NES, but with the limitations of this of this particular emulator that Nintendo are providing, you just can't do things as effectively as you can if you use a real emulator. Uh, like, you know, if you used a... like RetroArch or something, or like if you, if you even, you know, made a RetroPie setup and installed NES games on that, which would be very... Uh, cool and effective compared to this, which sucks. <sighs> so yeah, that's that. Um, I mean, it's it's cool that there's some two-player games here and that they work online. But again, you can you can do that with the emulators. Rare oh, I, I I guess that's why they made that one a special so that you could. I, I don't know. I, I mean, like, the idea of that one is to let you see the ending, but, you know, you can just play the game and get good at it and get to see the ending that way. Or they could have given you a save state that just jumps you to the ending. Or they could have put, like, a cheat system in, like an emulator has, where you can, you know, use, like, a game shark code or action replay code or whatever to give yourself health and stuff. They could have done that, and they haven't. Instead, they've just randomly marked versions of the game that have save states built in as special versions. I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, uh, there's Star Tropics. Um, Star Tropics is is a flawed game. Um, <laughs> um, hang on. Oh, there's Adventure of Link non-special version. Okay, I thought that was the only one, and it sort of baffled me for a second. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's 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 the um. NES thing that Switch Online gives you that sucks. Um, should give you an idea of what it's like and the fact that it sucks. Um, Switch Online also, you know, lets you play games online, things like Splatoon, so it's worth doing, but this is not worth it on its own, definitely. Um, and it's not, you know, a compelling reason to get the Switch Online subscription by any means. <sighs> anyway, that's enough rambling from me about video games um, that you can't remember the controls for because this game sucks. Um, so yeah, that's enough of that. Um, I hope this video was worth watching and didn't just suck. <laughs> um, let me know if you have an opinion on this or if you don't and just want to, you know, talk, that's cool too. Whatever. Uh, bye!